As we kick off this new series at MEC called Courageous Parenting, we'll be taking a look at how to have courage in all stages of your kid's life. And as we do that, let's take some time to reflect on courage and understand what it really means. Courage is described as the ability to do something that frightened you or having the strength in the midst of pain. It's the ability to stand by our decisions even when others disagree with us. As Pastor Jim mentioned in the first installment of the series, we are living in a post-Christian era. Most people don't have any affiliation with or knowledge of Christianity, but everyone is still looking for some kind of truth in their lives. They are looking to understand ethics, find a moral code, and to understand what is right and wrong. So when we're living in a world that no longer shares our same foundational values as the Bible, how do we respond with courage? In the Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse 2 can help us answer that question. It says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. When we're faced with having to choose between what the world says and what God says, we need to have the courage to stand up for what God says. God gives us ultimate truth to live by when we choose to listen and allow Him to change us. He wants to be in relationship with you and help you find a good and pleasing life. We can't say, say the same for the rest of the world, which is why we can't be afraid to disagree with it. We need to have the courage to open our hearts to what God has to say about right and wrong, and then have the courage to speak it. So as you go about your day, think about all the ways in which you can open your heart to God and be courageous. Thank you.